The secret is that posing and body language, like they legit go hand in hand. And I would go so far to say is without understanding body language, we're missing the most important part of posing our subjects. You're about to learn what it takes to live free of fear, to finally feel confident in your work and to step into your true authenticity as an artist. Get ready because this is where we learn to stand out, to say yes to creating the work that we so deeply desire. Welcome, I'm Denise Birdsong and I teach photographers and artists how to finally make their mark. Today, I want to talk to you about posing techniques I've seen in real life settings that create amazing outcomes and how our pre-language relatives actually play a key role in the way we respond to body language and power posing. So I'm Denise Birdsong and welcome to Make Your Mark. I would love for you to subscribe to this podcast. That would be super awesome. Um, Leave me a review. It really helps me reach more people. You can follow me on Instagram at Denise Birdsong Photographer and be sure that you send me DMs. I love hearing from you guys, what you're up to, what you're struggling with, and just interacting with you. And then you can go over and join my Facebook group at Strip Down the Art of Emotive Photography because I restream each week's episode and then I host a live Q&A for you. Um, So I would love to see you there. So let's dive in. The single most consistent thing that I hear from my colleagues, my peers, my students, they all say that they struggle with posing. That seems to be the thing. And it's a real issue that so many photographers struggle with at some point in their journey. And oftentimes it remains that thorn in your side um, throughout your entire career. And we all know that posing is a foundational and fundamental aspect of our craft. I mean, there are a million and one posing guides to buy to help us level up. Um, There are TikTok tutorials now. We've got Instagram tutorials. We pin images to Pinterest posing boards for ourselves. We use prompt cards, hoping that will work. Um, and there's all kinds of educated education dedicated just to posing for a reason. And that reason is we are missing the mark with posing. And without the foundational tools and understanding of posing, it's really difficult to master. To me, without understanding the art and the science of posing, and yes, there is a science-backed process to powerful and impactful posing, you're always going to be searching for the new poses that are going to enable you to feel confident um, when you're posing your subjects, alleviate the stress and anxiety of those damn, like, ugh, what next moments. Um, it. You're looking for something to erase the need to try and find, you know, that thing that you feel like is missing from your work um, to give you pride and confidence in what you're creating. And I think ultimately to take your work to the next level, the secret is that posing and body language, like they legit go hand in hand. And I would go so far to say is without understanding body language, we're missing the most important part of posing our subjects. So as we've evolved from a species that relied on communicating through body language and gestures and developing language, our subconscious still totally reigns supreme. And it's been in place so much longer than our conscious mind. And it totally has the upper hand in communication. And I know, I know this isn't something that you might be thinking about, There are so many other things that we need to think about as professional photographers and entrepreneurs, but luckily there are entire scientific communities dedicated to the understanding of neuroscience and communication. And there have been, I mean, countless, numerous, loads of studies on the complex topic of nonverbal communication. And the vast majority of experts agree that between it's around 70 to 93% of all communication is nonverbal. This is huge. And this means that nonverbal communication is the single most powerful form of communication. 
it's more subtle and more effective than verbal communication. And it conveys our innermost thoughts and selves without the use of words. I want you to think about that for a minute. Just ponder that. As an artist, you actually have an incredibly and unique opportunity to tell the most powerful stories in the world with proper direction and posing. At one point, I had directed a shoot. Um, It was a video, a marketing video for my boudoir business. And in addition to it being on my website, um, I would use it on a loop when I was at bridal fairs. And I had this young man working for me. His name was Carlos. And he would help set up at the fairs and talk to clients and, you know, just help me all around. And the video would be playing and playing and playing, right? All day long. And I started to notice we would hit this one part in the video. And Carlos would stop wherever he was in the booth. He would stop and like, oh what's this, right? He'd look at the video, right? And he was like mesmerized by the video. So I started paying attention. I wanted to figure out what was it that he was looking at? What was so interesting? I mean, there were a bunch of, you know, women in lingerie and lots of boudoir posing. And I figured maybe there was a particular girl that in an outfit that he was into, but I was shocked to see what it was that was stopping him in his tracks. And so I decided I'm going to ask him about it. So I said, Carlos, I I've noticed that, you know, whenever the video gets to this certain part, no matter where you are in the booth or what you're doing, you literally stop dead in your tracks and you're like, Oh, what's going on with the video. Right. So what is it about this part of the video? That's, that's like so captivating to you. That's like pulling you in every single time. And in a little bit of like a, Ooh, I've been caught in a little bit of an embarrassed moment. He was like, Oh, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's just the way that she, she looks at me and this particular part of the video. I mean, the subject was basically covered up. She was wrapped up in sheets. There was no lingerie. There was no bits and parts showing anything like that. She just looked up from the camera And came in with like all of the love, right? And and it really is a beautiful part. The body language in it is gorgeous. And he said, it feels like every time I see that, she's like, Carlitos, I love you. And, And we both giggled and laughed. But literally, it would stop him dead in his tracks every time. And this just goes to show you how powerful body language can be. It trumped all of the boudoir wardrobe and, you know, scantily clad women. It was that connection that she was creating. So body language and posing can be so incredibly powerful and understanding how to create powerful posing is going to change the way that viewers experience or react and actually see your work. Powerful posing can communicate directly with your viewer on like these really incredible and deep instinctual levels. And it's really such a meaningful part of creation, yet most photographers think of it as an afterthought. And it's crazy to me because photographers spend hours investing their time into learning their cameras, lighting, retouching, styling, blah, 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 blah. But only a fraction of that time is spent understanding how to guide and direct the very subject of your artistic creations. And these same hesitant photographers and unsure photographers, unfortunately, oh my gosh, we have such a turnover, you guys. They end up giving up on their dreams, quitting their passion, because many of these techniques are only known by highly skilled professionals who have learned these things over time and the experience of years of growth. And so I want to set you on a bullet train path to creating beautiful work. I mean, this is my passion and I feel like it's my mission in life. 
And you know, it's funny when I talk about my mission, um, I almost always talk about my mother and now that she's gone, I really do strive to continue her legacy of helping others and filling people up with love and making a difference in the world. But what I don't often talk about is my father, who is also a very influential part of my mission. Um, story time again. The very first year I was invited to educate at WPPI. It was a big, it was a big deal. Um, it was the five-year anniversary of a trip I took to Las Vegas with my dad as a brand new photographer. So five years to the day I was educating at WPPI. And when we got there that first trip, I had nothing but like, you know, a prosumer camera, a kit lens, and a passion to take photos professionally. And seriously, you guys, I didn't even really know how to work that prosumer camera. I had no idea what I was doing. But I decided I was going to do this and I was going to be an amazing photographer. And I remember my dad saying to me, well, if all these other people here can do it, then there's no reason you can't. And he has totally been my cheerleader, fully supporting all of my efforts. I mean, for God's sakes, he even let me turn his garage into a studio when I was first starting. Um, he's encouraged me to follow my dreams and consistently tells me to go out and kick some ass, which I try and do. So five years later, he was actually able to sit in the audience of the first masterclass that I ever taught at WPPI. And of course, I introduced him to the crowd. I wanted to give him credit for supporting me. And when it was over, past students and attendees actually went up to my father and they shook his hand and they thanked him for supporting me and encouraged me to do what I was doing. They shared stories of how I changed their work and in some cases changed their lives. Um, and to those of you that were there and shared with him, oh my God, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so very much. And by the time I was done greeting everyone and I was able to get over to my dad, he was actually in tears and boy, that is not my dad, you guys, but he was so full of pride, but even more importantly, the conviction that what I was sharing, what had become this new path that I was on and a mission that was important, he believed it was something different and something that the community needs. He saw it too. And from that day forward, he has supported me ferociously and wholeheartedly believing in my mission and holding a light on my path during my darkest days after losing my mom and keeping me slowly but surely on my path and my mission. And I got to tell you, it really is an incredible and profound experience that fills me with so much gratitude when I'm able to speak and teach. Um, it makes my heart just swell when I hear from student after student about how their process for creation has changed for the better. And they're now creating more powerful images as they move through their artist journey, being recognized for their skills and unparalleled art. I mean, what more can a girl ask for, right? So here we are. We've all arrived at our current place in our journey. And wherever you are, it's exactly where you're supposed to be. That's why it's a journey and we keep going. And I'm actually ready to keep growing. And I hope that you are too. I want to help you get off the proverbial struggle bus when it comes to posing. So I'm inviting you to my free powerful posing boot camp. It's going to be October 26th and 29th. It's a virtual online class, and I'm going to teach you about intention and an amazing pivot in your approach to posing. And you and I, we're going to grow and we're going to learn together. And it's going to be an amazing experience. This is going to be really straightforward. There's no pitch because I'm not selling anything. Um, this is an absolutely free educational opportunity for you. Um, I have a mission that's driven by my passion for creation, keeping my mom's legacy alive, making my father proud, and helping you create beautiful works of art. And I promise I am going to bring you my all on this topic, providing you with 
actionable takeaways to begin your journey and grow. And I'm going to blow your mind (laughs) with this game-changing posing pivot. So I hope that you don't miss it. I hope that you come and join me. You can text the keyword boot camp to 866-603-4337. I'm going to repeat that one more time. Text the keyword boot camp to 866-603-4337 to get yourself registered for it. Or you can head over to my website, which is www.dbirdsong.com backslash event training. I almost didn't remember that. Um, And I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, I really appreciate it. And don't forget, it would be awesome if you subscribe to the podcast and left me a review. Again, it really helps me reach more people. You can follow me on Instagram. Um, It's Denise Birdsong Photographer. And be sure to send me DMs because I love hearing what you guys are up to, what you're struggling with, what your wins are. I just really like interacting with you guys. And then join the Facebook group and it's Stripped Down, The Art of Emotive Photography. Um, I restream this week's podcast and then I host a live Q&A on the episode for you guys. So I'll see you soon. And in the interim, go out and create beautiful things this week. I'll see you guys soon. Again, thank you so much for your time. Bye.